Have you ever wondered how to make custom item signs or text signs in Eco? You must have, you clicked the link. I'm Ragebit and today I'm going to show you how to make cool item signs, change text color and a few other handy hints. So let's get right into it. Alright guys, so like I said, we're going to get straight into it today and we're going to start making some custom signs in Eco. Alright, so you're going to need any kind of sign today. Could be stone, wood or steel. It really doesn't matter. Once you've selected your sign, you need to press E and it will open up the text interface. To make any colored text, we enter the angle bracket that faces to the left. We write the word color and then the equal sign. And then we type any color that we'd like. In this case, we're going to go with red. Then we do the angle bracket that points to the right and type the letter or word that we want to display. In this case, it's just an S. Finally, we close the color code by typing left bracket, forward slash, color, and then the bracket that points to the right. Hey, success, check out our capital red S. Now if you're a first timer, that could be pretty confusing. So let me show you again, but with a different color. All right, so the process is pretty much the same as it was before. We just open up the sign. We type left bracket, color equals, in this case, blue, right bracket, and we select the text that we want. In this case, it's a capital U. And then we need to close off the color code by doing left bracket slash color, right bracket. All right, I'll show you one more time with a different color. So we type left bracket, color equals, in this case, yellow, right bracket, and we're going to write a B. And then we're going to close off color by doing left bracket slash color right bracket and pressing save. So as you can see, we have a variety of different colors here and we're starting to spell out a word. No points for guessing what that word is. As you can see, you can actually just copy and paste the code and change the text. I've pasted the code in here and I'm just going to change my color to pink instead. As you can see, that didn't really work out. So I'm going to try purple instead. Well, that'll do it. Looks pretty pink to me, but I'm colorblind anyway, so what does it matter? So what we'll do is we'll experiment with a few more colors. I'll take you through how to do those. I'll show you how to do bold italics and underlines, and I'll also show you how to make custom colors using hex codes. All right, so we've got a gray one there. This one, we're gonna try something a little bit different. I'm gonna try to make it brown of all colors. Okay, so we just delete the red out. We type in brown, we press save, Obviously we'll change our letter first, and then we'll see what comes up. All right, so that didn't really work out, so we're just gonna change it to black instead. And that one works pretty well. So if there's black, there's white on the other side, yin and yang, that kind of stuff. So we'll just change the text again to an I, and then we'll change the color to white. We're just finishing up with the last couple of colors. No points if you've guessed the word already. I'm going to paste that in, but this time we're going to try something a little bit different. We're going to change our text to a hex code by doing hashtag and typing in a random hex code. In this case, I'm going to type in hash free F48D4, which is a code for blue. We'll change the letter to B and press save. and then we'll come over to our last sign. For this sign, I'm just going to paste the code in, and then I'm going to go to Google, and I'm going to search, what is the hex code for orange? We'll quickly do that, and you'll notice that it's hashtag double F A 500. We'll copy that over, paste it in, and then we should have an orange sign. We'll just change the letter real quick. If you haven't figured it out by now, you should have, but the word is subscribe. I'll take this opportunity to let you know that it now is a great time to subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate that, or just a little bit of a thumbs up if that's all you can manage for now. We're moving on to the next part of this tutorial, how to make bold and italic letters. So what you can do is you can type uh, left bracket slash B for bold, 
and then left bracket B right bracket and you can see that it makes the letter quite bold you can do the same but instead of doing B you can actually do a U for underline or you can change it to an I for italics in this case we'll do the I first and don't stress if you're finding any of this difficult today all of the codes can be found in the description below so you can see it's a little bit slanted compared to the other letters and then we'll look at doing a U for underlined. So what we're expecting to see here is an underlined letter C. Perfect. All right, so we'll take that off and we'll just leave it how it was. So you can see our pretty subscribed text here. Okay, the last thing that I want to show you today is how to make custom item signs. This is a little bit different. To do this, you'll need to type left bracket, eco icon, space, item, equals, and you type the name of the icon followed by item. For example, in this case, we're going to do apostrophe, sid, a skid steer, item, apostrophe. Close the bracket by doing right bracket, left bracket, slash eco icon. I'll show you this a few more times, but hey, check out our cool skid steer up here. So we're going to do left eco icon space item equals apostrophe wild stew item apostrophe close the bracket and then close the eco icon. Mmm, there it is, that tasty wild stew. Alright, for our second last one today, we're going to do another one. We'll do eco icon, space, item, apostrophe, or equals apostrophe, iron pickaxe, item, apostrophe, right bracket, left bracket slash eco icon right bracket and we've got our little pickaxe here you can do any eco item in the game that you'd like to do uh, you can find their codes on the eco wiki or they're pretty generic whatever the item is is normally what it is followed by the word item so we're going to paste the code across we're just going to copy that one paste this one in and we're just going to change the little bit that says iron pickaxe. We're going to change that to stone. And you'll see the stone item is displayed. Oh yeah, check out all of our cool signs. We've got colors, we've got item signs. We know how to do italics and underlines. It's all good. If you've forgotten anything that I spoke about today, then it's all in the description below. I'd appreciate it if you take the time to subscribe now. Otherwise, I'm Ragebit. And you've been watching How to Make Custom Signs in Eco.